In May 2011, Operation Neptune Spear took the LBT-6094 from an obscure plate carrier known only to some of the most elite special operators in America to one of the most famous plate carriers in the world. Seemingly overnight, the LBT-6094 became a household name to conventional armed military and law enforcement professionals, freedom-loving citizens, airsoft enthusiasts, military history buffs, and gamers alike. A tried and true design, the LBT-6094 reflects the best of early GWAT load-bearing technology. It has been over 12 years since the LBT-6094, protecting hand-picked Red Squadron operators packed into America's secretive and extremely high-tech Stealth Hawks, on a nearly moonless Pakistani night, stepped out of the shadows and into the limelight. Technology, design, and construction techniques have evolved significantly since then. This begs the question, how does the original LBT-6094 stack up against modern play carrier designs and technology? Stay tuned to this episode of Core Performance Insights to find out. Thermoregulation is the next frontier of human performance and enhancement. This is a foundational principle for us here at Core Performance. As such, integration of our Ice Age ecosystem of thermoregulation and hydration tools is the origin of this inside series. Ice Age ecosystem augmentation supercharges the capabilities of older plate carriers, helping them stay relevant and even outperform some of the newest plate carrier designs on the market today. While the lack of organic thermoregulation capabilities is where the LBT-6094 starts to show its age, it is an ideal candidate for two of our newest additions to the Ice Age ecosystem, IMS Versa and Catamaran. IMS Versa facilitates internal mounting of our ice plate curve for conductive thermoregulation plus hydration to the inside of any plate bag with an external molly field. Catamaran uses largely the same mounting system to facilitate the use of our IceVents classic plate carrier ventilation pontoons for convective thermoregulation. While IceVents Aero minimalist plate carrier shoulder pads will work with the LBT-6094, IceVents classic heavy loadout plate carrier shoulder pads are better suited to the LBT-6094 given its full duty heavy loadout orientation. Both IceVents Aero and IceVents classic will facilitate convective thermoregulation for your shoulders while distributing load a capability unique to our IceVents technology. The lack of full loop Velcro fields or molly on the inside of the plate bags means the LBT-6094 limits our IMS and IMS Pro to external hard cell hydration mode on the rear plate bag only. YouTube is telling us that just 7.4% of you who watch our videos are subscribed to the channel. Be a friend of freedom and smash those subscribe, like, and notification buttons so we can help freedom lovers, well, be free. Few things impact human performance more than weight. Ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pain. We've all heard it, we all know it. The LBT website lists the 6094 as weighing 3.13 pounds or 50.08 ounces, but it does not specify the configuration or size for this weight. In our in-house testing, our size medium LBT 6094 tips the scales at 38.85 ounces dry. For context, a pound is 16 ounces, which is also the approximate weight of a loaded 556 magazine. In other words, for every 16 additional ounces of dry weight in your plate carrier, you are potentially sacrificing a 30-round magazine of 5.56 NATO ammunition. To find out how this weight compares to carriers like our Ice Plate Exo, Cry Precision's AVS, and others, click on the link in the show notes below to check out our plate carrier weight calculator, 
The data is super interesting, and the guys did a great job putting it together. Wet weight matters. Whether salt water or sweat, the ability of a plate carrier to repel or shed water weight and to do so quickly has a dramatic impact on operator performance. The wet weight of the LBT6094 came in at 68.75 ounces. This means the LBT6094 retained 29.9 ounces of water or roughly the same weight as 60 rounds of 5.56 or two loaded magazines in water retention. For our super nerds out there, this is what the distribution of the LBT6094 wet weight looks like across the constituent components. Shoulder pads are 2.45 ounces each for a total of 4.9 ounces total per pair. The carrier alone is 63.85 ounces. If you've watched any of our earlier videos in this series, you know that our experimental design is simple. It is the same for all play carriers we test in this series. Submerge the carrier in water for 60 minutes, remove, and hang dry for 60 seconds. Weigh the carrier. We conduct all of these tests inside our office to make sure external variables like sunlight, wind, etc. are not present. Our scale is always zeroed to account for the weight of the bin. What materials did you use to build a plate carrier 15 years ago? 500D Cordura nylon, Velcro, and nylon webbing. The LBT6094 is made from simple, reliable materials that are still in use today. Even if they are not cutting edge or high tech, they are proven. What exactly is thermal transmittance and why should any of us care? What does it have to do with plate carriers? Thermal transmittance is the transfer of heat through matter. In our case, the matter is the body facing section of a plate carrier plate bag. If a wall or a plate bag is well insulated, it will have low thermal transmittance. This is ideal for a home, car, or cold weather jacket as they are designed to protect you from the elements. If that same wall or plate bag is poorly insulated, it will have high thermal transmittance. This is ideal for active or athletic apparel. Think running clothes, PT gear, combat uniforms, or anything you wear when under heavy athletic exertion, where your body needs to dump excess heat generated from effort. Since kit is already insulating by nature, you want to find gear, especially plate carriers and body armor, that have the highest possible thermal transmittance. In other words, you want to find plate carriers and body armor that have the minimum amount of insulation. This will allow your body's natural thermoregulation mechanisms to work as efficiently as possible and for you to control your body temperature independent of your kit. Preserving this natural function decreases the possibility of you becoming a heat casualty, keeping you in the fight and increasing survivability for you and your team. Some plate carriers, like our Ice Plate XO, IMS, IMS Pro, and Catamaran, can even augment your body's natural thermoregulation mechanisms, boosting your performance in the process. If you'd like to learn the basic methods of heat transfer and how they apply to your gear, check out the awesome infographics we put together in our Insights blog article titled, The Methods of Heat Transfer, linked in our show notes below. This is the experimental design for our thermal transmittance testing. One, FLIR camera surface reading of the body surface side of the plate bags at room temperature. Place a single ice plate curve fresh out of the freezer into the same plate bag. Then, close plate bag, place a Defender level 3 hard armor plate on top of the plate bag for 30 seconds to simulate the effect of putting on the plate carrier. Use short exposure time to test efficiency, not capacity. Remove the Defender level 3 hard armor plate from the surface of the subject plate bag. Take new FLIR surface temperature reading. What do these numbers mean? The smaller the spread between the initial or baseline surface temperature and the surface reading at room temperature, the lower the thermal transmittance of that plate bag. Plate carriers with these readings will trap and retain more heat, making you hotter. The larger the spread between the initial or baseline surface temperature and the surface reading at the room temperature, the higher the thermal transmittance of that plate carrier. Plate bags with these larger spreads are better at removing heat to let your body's thermoregulation mechanisms work as normally as possible. The LBT6094 has an initial or baseline surface temperature of 73 degrees Fahrenheit and ice plate inside surface temperature of 62 degrees Fahrenheit, creating a thermal shift of 11 degrees Fahrenheit. This is how the LBT6094 stacks up against the other plate carriers we've tested. While the LBT6094 is one of the heaviest carriers we've ever tested, it is also packed with more standard features than most carriers and has a number of features that are unique, especially in the early Great War on Terror. 
This list of unique features includes left and right radio pouches native to the cummerbund, side sappy pouches integrated into the cummerbund, loop Velcro at the top of the plate bag for soft armor augmentation, some admin pouches, a kangaroo pouch, and almost as much cable management as the HSP Thorax, which was designed almost 20 years after the 6094 was born. The attachment mechanisms on the LBT-6094 are simple. Velcro and Molly. That's it. The LBT-6094 does not have swift clip compatibility or zip-on back panels. When it comes to variety, the LBT-6094 is available in Coyote Brown, Ranger Green, Black, Woodland, Olive Drab, Mass Gray, and Multicam. As far as sizes, the LBT-6094 is available in small, medium, large, and extra large. The shoulders and cummerbund allow for a wide range of adjustability. As you can see here, the 6094 has a 19.5 inch length of Velcro on the shoulders and 12 inches of adjustability in the cummerbund. While the LBT website does not specify what shape slash style of armor the 6094 can accommodate, it appears that the plate carrier size corresponds to the armor plate size. The plate bags appear to be able to accommodate sappy, e-sappy, and swimmer cut armor plates of level 4 thickness. According to LBT, the 6094 is made in America from American materials. This is the last and least important consideration when selecting your plate carrier because, well, we're talking about your life here. The LBT 6094 is still manufactured by LBT, but it is now called the Modular Plate Carrier. The 6094G is listed on the LBT website for $573.28 as of the writing of the script on 18 October 2023. That's going to do it for us and our LBT 6094 overview. Now that you've had a chance to learn all about the technical details of the 6094 and how it compares to modern plate carrier performance data in our Best Plate Carriers of 2023 video, we want to know your thoughts. Is the 6094 still relevant and has it stood the test of time? Or do you think it is time for this old warhorse to be put out to pasture? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed the video and that it was helpful. If you're looking to see the latest in all aspect thermoregulation, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Core Performance and subscribe to our Launchpad email list to join us in building a superhuman future. Until next time, stay frosty.